Hey guys, this is Abhishek from GadgetStitch.com and today we are going to talk about the new Motorola Moto X Play. I have done couple of videos around the Moto X Play earlier, but in this video I'm going to talk about the battery backup of Moto X Play. Moto X Play has actually got a pretty good battery of 3630, which can actually give you around two days of battery backup. And I have used this phone as a secondary phone. I have used my secondary SIM card inside this one. Again, I don't use that SIM card for calling that much, but I do use it for 4G. So I have created 4G Wi-Fi hotspot from the new Moto X Play after inserting my second data card SIM into this phone. So the overall battery backup which I have got from Moto X Play has been very impressive till now. And the thing which I'm saying is because of couple of reasons, I have done couple of different things on this one to actually see how does the battery perform on this phone. In regular usage, it has lasted more than one day all the time till now, which is a very impressive thing. The second thing which I like is the battery drain is not that much. So especially when you do high definition gaming, we have done a gaming review of the Moto X Play and you can see that on our channel. The link should be there in the video description and you can see that video. And one thing which I noticed on the Moto X Play that if you play high definition games, it does not drain the battery much. And the device was also controlled in terms of temperature. So because the device does not heat up that much, even when you do high definition gaming with games like Asphalt 8, Nova 3, Modern Combat 5, which we played, the device was fairly responsive. The gaming performance was good. And again, the overall temperature of the device was also not that much. We also run some benchmarking utilities to find out how does it perform when the device is forced to a force to basically maximum performance with those benchmark utilities which we have run. So we found out that if we play a high definition video for, for approximately four minutes, the battery drop was almost around 1%. So 1% of battery drop was happening with 4% of four minutes of high definition video playback, which is a very good sign. And one thing which I've seen in some other good battery phones is that three minutes of video playback of high definition video uh, we have seen 1% of battery drop on those phones. So as far as battery is concerned, the battery drop on this phone is very much controlled and it does not drain that fast. As far as the figures are concerned for the battery usage, I can show you the battery graph. I have that in the settings and I can show you that. So in terms of the overall battery graph, some of the things which I noticed that the battery is dropping at a very speedy rate and this is kind of a steep point over there it is because the battery was in low temperature and again it was at critical level and i did not enable the power saving mode and i played some games and at that time the battery drop was happening much faster than the regular thing which normally happen apart from that you can see that the curve is almost kind of uh, slowly declining in terms of the battery charge which is good and then i charge the device in terms of the overall charging it takes around two and a half to three hours for the full charge because it does not come with a fast charger. But if you have a fast charger, I think this thing should get charged within the next two hours when you start the charging or slightly more, I would say. But again, the overall performance of the device is good. Once it is fully charged, you can actually trust on this particular device to give you one day of battery backup. And even there was a time when it was around 10 to 12 percent, I guess. And uh, at that time, it was night time. I forgot to charge it uh, at that moment of time. And in the morning, the battery was around seven to eight percent. And then still the battery was there and I could use the device for the next half an hour or one hour in that particular battery level, which is quite commendable. So Moto X Play in terms of the battery is a very good phone. It does give you a very good backup. The overall UI is nicely optimized and the gaming performance is also very nicely controlled. I would say the device does perform good in gaming and it does not heat up that much. So these are the things which I wanted to tell you as far as battery is concerned on the Moto X Play. I'm pretty much impressed with the overall battery backup I have got from this one. And definitely if you consider the battery of this phone, this is one of the best phone which will give you very good battery backup some of the other good things I have noticed on the battery button on the Moto X Play is that the overall drop in the battery was not that much when we played a game, a high definition game and the battery drop was again kind of average. The device was also not getting heated 
that much. The other good thing is that the screen on time on the Moto X Play is good. We got approximately 5 hours of screen on time and the battery is right now 8% from 100% from which we started. And we started using this phone, uh, I think I started using this phone with 100% two days back. And again the overall battery backup is good on the phone. So this is all we have as far as the quick battery review of the new Moto X Play. Do let us know if you have any specific question for this device. We would love to help you. You can like this video if this video helped you by clicking the like button below. You can subscribe to our YouTube video channel for more videos like this by clicking the subscribe button below. Thanks for watching this video. This is Abhishek signing off. Thank you.